Hey my friends, welcome to beautiful Malibu, California. I am gonna give you five tips on how to shoot better sunset photos. Video. We're gonna do something a little bit different on this video. I'm gonna give you all five tips right at the very front, and then we're gonna take this camera, move it to the location that I feel is the best location for this spot because it was scouted, actually one of the tips, and then we'll go for there on how to shoot better sunset photos. Tip number one, plan your location. Tip number two, arrive to your location early. Tip number three, bring along a tripod. Tip number four, find your composition and get set up. And tip number five, don't only stay for golden hour, shoot through blue hour. So based on the first tip, find your location. This area has some familiarity to me. I've shot down at El Matador Beach, which is just a couple miles down the road here. This is new to me though, so it's definitely good to research online and see, kind of get some photos online that other people have shot just to get an idea of what is in the area or watch some videos just to see what is happening down in this area, if it's viable to shoot or not. But definitely planning it out, maybe even checking the tide today. It's low tide right now, it's the lowest it's gonna be. So it is starting to rise or it's on the rise, but that's not gonna, shouldn't be a problem anyway, so we'll see. So tip number one was to research your location. So tip number two is to arrive to your location early. There's nothing like getting stuck in traffic or getting a flat tire or just those bummers of life that happen. So if you leave early, at least you might get here on time if some of those things do happen. If not, you get to arrive early, you get the lay of the land, and you're calm, you're peaceful, everything's good. I was actually here about two and a half hours ago down in a local park, Malibu uh, Creek Park, but we came down here about an hour and a half before, so we're in good hands here with the time. I don't have a watch on, but we're doing well. Tip number three, and it's not for everybody, but for me, it's essential to bring a tripod. The reason you wanna bring a tripod is after sunset and into the darker hours, just after blue hour or what have you, you might wanna keep shooting, which I suggest and you want to have a longer exposure. Well, you probably can't handhold a three, four, five second exposure, especially if you have a filter, let's just say, to extend that time so you can light up the area a little bit by providing some light to the sensor. So you're going to need a tripod to do that. It's just a must. That way you get a nice tack sharp image. So I just realized now that I'm standing here is sunset's gonna probably come a little earlier because there's a whole belt of clouds that just is just sitting right above the horizon in some places and just above it in others. So where it's going down, it has a little belt right below it that has a little avenue for it to peek through, but we'll see how it turns out. But if it drops, meaning the clouds, then the sun will actually set before the horizon line because it's dropped below that belt of clouds. But in the end, I feel like it's gonna be a nice sunset. It's turning out to be, I think, a really nice time here. Tip number five, go and find your composition. You got here early, you walked around, now find that composition and stay put. Obviously you can move around after the fact, especially if you're trying to get that one nice shot. I mean, I'm putting all my marbles in one basket here and it's just gonna stay right here in this location. But in the end, once we move into blue hour, I'll probably look for some new compositions, but this is the one I want and I'm gonna stick with it and I'll shoot it through blue hour. Tip number five is to shoot through blue hour. Don't just shoot golden hour, shoot blue hour and shoot into the night if you can. If you have the time and it's a safe area and you can do so, I suggest just shooting compositions and getting a different feel for what it feels like from the same location to shoot golden hour, to shoot blue hour, and to shoot into the night. So that is tip number five. Those are your five tips to shoot better 
golden hour photos. All right, so I kept shooting tonight and I moved about 40 minutes northwest of where we were at the beach and climbed up the mountains a little bit here in um, the Malibu Canyon area, actually into like Camarillo actually. I'm in a location I really don't know that well, but I wanted to get this horseshoe light trail business and uh, I'll show you a little video of it if I can. It's super dark out here, but I'm also going to show you the image here shortly. I'm shooting quite a few and I'm also shooting some star trails. I got another camera going over there, so we'll see how it all turns out. But you know, the more practice, the better it is. And so hope you get those sunset shots that you want. Go get them. Leave me a comment down below and ask me any questions that you want. I'd love to hear from you. All right. Peace.